guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be reacting to all of the live performances in Slovenia's national selection EMA 2019. So I already reacted to the weird little snippet things with like the people talking over them in this in this video. So if you want to watch that, you can click right there for my first reactions. But this is my first time listening to the full versions of all the songs without annoying people talking over them. <laughs> and watching their live performances. So I'm super duper excited. I think there was a lot of potential in their national selection from what I heard in the snippets. So I'm excited to hear everything live. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. I'm super annoyed due to my whole situation getting copyright striked and not being up able to upload for two weeks. Like these are gonna be coming out so late. But I still wanted to get them out for you guys because I know you guys still allegedly want to still see them. So. I'm just going to put them out for you guys. So, the first song that I'm going to be reacting to is called Rhythm Back to You by Kim. Oh, I forgot that this is like written or something by Maria. Wait, 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 wait. I thought she had black hair. How does she go from black to platinum blonde? She looks really good though. I love her style. I love this energy already, just like immediately, like boom in your face, like she's like a diva. Okay, her voice is pretty good. Seems like there's some like, with these higher notes, it seems like a, um... ooh, her extensions though, girl. Okay, I like this song. I wish there was some dancers or something. Um, cause this is suggesting dancers, you know, like, she's just standing in place, like, serving nonetheless, but, and she, her hair extensions are a little rough. No shade, but you can clearly, if there's a wind machine and you can see where the little pieces of her actual hair is, but it's okay. She's still serving, she's still a diva, she's still killing it. Okay, this is a bop, but yeah. Those um, background singers are really assisting her with those higher notes. But it doesn't really sound bad at the end of the day. I'm kind of surprised this came in like 8th place out of 10. Cause like, she's a diva. Usually these fare well, you know? Yeah, I like this. It just feels like, in terms of visually, they're not doing anything to like build the song or take it anywhere. But I mean, she's doing well. She's killing it. She's still serving. These drummers with their like sparkler drumsticks, it's really cool. Yeah, overall, I must say, I, I did enjoy that. I thought that was good. She's a diva. She's fabulous. You know, every gay is gonna stand. Um, but it's just like, I liked it. I really liked it. All right, so the next song is called Three Bridges by Renata Mohoric. One of the composers of this song was Sticko Per Larsen. And I was like, where do I remember that name from? And he was in Melody Festival in last year in 2018. And I really liked his song. Okay. Okay, I like this little twangy little guitar. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of her voice. She's gorgeous. I love the like edgy, like braided up hairstyle. She's wearing a lot of makeup. I love the like smoky eye. Love that. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of her voice. But she's really like feeling herself with this performance. This feels like a nice little song that would have been on the soundtrack of A Star Is Born. You know, I'm, I want to hear Allie, Lady Gaga, singing this. She's serenading, what's his name? Bradley Cooper's character. <laughs> yeah, so this feels like it has that kind of country vibe to it. Never really the biggest fan to that. Um, it just feels a little, um, just not my taste, you know? It's just, it, it's not bad, it's just not my thing. Alright, I mean listen, that was not bad by any means. It was good, but not my favorite. 
you know, there was just something off about it. There was something off about her voice. There was something off about the song. I mean, she was really feeling herself. She was really, like, in it. But just something about it wasn't like, ah, like, oh my god, I stand, you know? All right, so the next song is called Ne Povesh, um, which translates to You Don't Say by René. Oh. oh, I love this, like, sparkly bomber. Oh, the sparkly pants. I want some of those. Oh, this is a look. I would wear that. Oh, this seems like it has, like, bop. Oh my god, I just, like, had a stroke. This seems like it has bop potential. Oh, I love how he's doing some choreography and everything. All right, bitch. I kind of like this. I'm... I like this. It's kind of funky. It's like... It's a bop. That's what it is. Oh, and it's got some different sounds in here. Almost like throwbacky, but still modern and like... Yeah. Loving that. I love him. I love that he's doing some choreography. I love him. He's a little performer. Okay, bitch. Okay. Yes. Oh, this choreography. Yes, I love this breakdown. Okay, yes, bitch. Ah. This is so fun. I like this. This is a little show. I like this a lot. And I like this breakdown. You guys know I'm not... I'm very particular about my instrumental breakdowns. I like this. I like he's got some attitude in his voice and everything. Yeah, the song is just fun. And doesn't it? It feels like... I don't know. It feels kind of 80s. But still like very 2019. You know what I mean? I like it. And I love singing in their um, native language. I love this choreography. I'm loving this. Oh my god, he is a performer. He knows how to put on a show. Damn. Damn, okay. Ustavi. Okay, I really enjoyed that. I felt like it built really nicely. It had the nice little breakdowns where he put in the choreography. He put on a show. He did really, he really did, he really did that. I think that it could have been way more expensive if he had more expensive styling, but like I didn't personally think it was bad. It just was like, it could be a little bit cheap. I mean, sequin bomber, but I mean, I think it's fabulous, right? But just trying to look at it like objectively kind of, that might be a, a comment, but yeah. All right, so the next song is called Ti ne poznash konyev, which translates to You Don't Know the Horses by Fed Horses. Oh, I love the violin. Beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. I love her hair. I love the fringe. I love the whole, like, staging with the colors, the oranges, the reds, the browns. It feels... I love whenever there's, like, that kind of country twangy, more acoustic. I don't know. I love whenever they use those colors. I just feel like it all, like works to help enhance the mood. Okay. So it feels like it's gonna go somewhere. It feels like it's building all of that. Um, I like the language. I love the language. It's very, I don't know. Tinet Poznash Konyev. I don't know, it just flows off the tongue. So it's like good for a non Slovenian speaker. I like this, it has that same sort of country influence. I feel like all these songs have had that, but um, I'm enjoying this. Um, it's very expensive, it just feels very rich, you know? What I will say about the chorus, it, it is just her saying, Ti ne poznash konjev. That's all she's saying in the chorus, it seems like. I would like a little bit more, but... Yeah, so, I mean, I enjoyed that. I just feel like by the end, it just kind of got a little bit repetitive. So, that's what I have to say on that. 
Alright, so the next song is called Fridays by Ula Lajar. As I said in my first reaction, Ula was actually in Junior Eurovision 2014, I believe, and she represented Slovenia, and this song is also composed partially by Maria, who represented Slovenia in 2015, and her song was great, so I have high hopes. Okay, break dancing, all right. This feels very different than her, her song in Junior Eurovision. Ooh, it's got that kind of 20s swingers effect on her voice. Oh. Some attitude, all right. Yes, girl. Look at her. Has she done like anything since Junior Eurovision or is this is like her big like, I'm back, bitches. She needs different hair. It's it's not good for her face. She has such a unique voice. So I loved her in Junior Eurovision because she has such a unique voice. I love the energy. This is fun. It's so it's so much fun seeing Junior Eurovision like kids come back for Eurovision, seeing them all grown up, see how they're styles have changed. Listen, this choreography's a little... a little goofy. Ula, you look a little silly. This is me when I'm in the club and I have my 8 inch heels on and I can't really dance so I'm just like... Listen, her voice is great. The song is fun. I like that they went for this kind of 20s sound but they didn't do like, they didn't do the like cheap ass like swinger dresses and try to do that sort of thing because that just always looks horrible. Don't do that. So I like the direction they went. This feels more like a Junior Eurovision entry than her Junior Eurovision entry, you know what I mean? Like that felt a lot more juvenile. Um, I didn't mind that, but I kind of preferred her Junior Eurovision song. Just felt more classy, like this is just, this did feel a little cheap. This felt a little cheap. Alright, so the next song is called Le Poté DNA, which translates to the, the Beauty of the Bottom by Lumberjack. Oh, okay, this is the rock song. This is the rock song. Alright. Okay, yeah, they're, they're into it. Alright. I'm here for that. I'm here for the energy that they are bringing to the stage. Oh, he is. Oh, they're all beautiful. I'm just like, guys, listen. He's gorgeous. I am like, I'm always here for like the nice like rocker, long hair. Oh, I'm always there for. I'm always there for that. Um, so they're beautiful, and they look. They just look good. They all look good. They all look great. They always all feel the vibe. They all fit the vibe and everything. Oh! This is a good rock song too. This feels like when you watch, like, this is like that nice alternative late 2000s kind of rock that I really, really love because it's the kind of thing that I grew up listening to a lot in, like, this is not that, but like in like Disney movies and stuff, whenever, you know, the, the, there was the alternative kid and they were in a band or something, that's like the kind of rock music they would have. Now this is like better than that, but I like this kind of stuff. I really love their vibe and everything. The singer is really good. He has a really nice voice. They all look really good. They all, oh, I like, I like this. I've been lately growing a lot more to enjoy like rock music, so. Oh, my lace is like lifting up, oh my goodness. So I'm really starting to like appreciate this kind of music, so I'm I'm loving this. This is this is a good rock song. To me. Like this is the kind of rock music I like. Oh I love there's like 50 guitar solos going on. They all just look like they're having fun on stage. I love that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that as well. Oh, that was just fun. That was a fun little rock song. Love that kind of music. Really starting to grow to enjoy that. I just thought that was good. I thought that was good. The, the, everybody had like really good stage presence and energy. 
and it was fun. It was fun to watch. So the next song is called Metuli Plecheo by Oku Tashni. Okay. I already know. I, I feel like I'm a fan of be tired. Okay. She's beautiful. Are those pants? Those are pants. Bitch. I love a nice little wide legged pant. So I'm living for that look. I don't really like how disconnected they are, like on opposite sides of the stage. Okay. Her hair is gorgeous. She is kind of surfing. But listen, I'd be lying if I said I was excited or really honestly interested. Um, I'm a little bored. Yeah, like, this to me, this song is like going nowhere. This, oh my god, this song's basically over. Oh my god, yeah, this song did not go anywhere. I'm bored. I don't have much to say. There's not really much charisma. Like, they don't, they're not really vibing together. They feel really disconnected for me. Like, that was my least favorite so far. So the next song is called Atma by Inmate. Mmm, this is the other rock song, huh? Oh, I love how it's immediately like dark. The red lights, the darkness. The yelling. To me, this isn't the kind of rock that really, or metal that really I respond to necessarily. I prefer more alternative rock. This kind of sound isn't really my thing. You sold your soul for nothing, for slavery, something like that. What are they talking about? Yeah, I'm not really vibing with this. If this is your thing, it's your thing. To me, um, there's better metal songs out there, you know? Like, I just don't really like much about this. I don't know. Like, it's, it's very good. It's a cool rock song. They're putting on a show, but there's just something about it I'm not responding with. Yeah, I'm just not really vibing with this. Like, to me, the reason why I loved Hungry's song in 2018 so much um, was because, I don't know, there was these catchy aspects to it, and it was really just like, it, it had a really signature melody and stuff like that like despite it being like this heavy metal rock song i still got those vibes it was just i don't know for this i'm not i'm not really vibing with the lyrics or anything or the melody i'm not really feeling it all right so the next song is called sebi which is to oneself by zalek Ralsh and gashper shanti now i already reacted to that in this video so if you want to watch that click right there yeah, I just react to all of the winners in separate videos. So, that's the winner. Watch it there. Yeah. Moving on. So the next song is called Chaos by Raven. This song went to the super final. Damn, you know, I'm sad to see Raven did not fucking win again. Who knows? I'm gonna listen to this. Maybe she didn't deserve to win, you know? We shall see, but like, damn, like, she really be trying all the time. Like, Slovenia, can y'all just, like, internally select her for once? Like, please. <laughs> like, we want to see her. Like, we want to see her. She sends amazing songs each year. Like, oh, please, Raven. I just feel bad. Like, come on. She tries every year. I swear she'd be trying every year. Like, just let her in. Also, she follows me on Instagram. So, hey, girl, if you're watching this. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, she is a... A, a cyborg. She really be coming from a different planet. Okay, the crowd needs to shut up though, because I'm trying to hear her. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, gals. She is giving the gays everything that they want. Oh my god, we got shirtless dancers, serving, queen of posing. And like that major like Sophie kind of production where it's like, I shoved my silverware into the garbage disposal. She's really like just serving with this voguing. Okay, I am seriously like living for the voguing. Yes, bitch. Oh, okay. She's really doing, bitch. She said, oh, I heard Eurovision is for the gays. I'll give them exactly what they want. The voguing, like, I cannot get over it. She's killing it. Oh. Ah. The voguing, I cannot get over the voguing. She's killing it. And it's so chill. It's still like, oh, she is so fierce. I cannot get over it. She sounds amazing. Unreal, amazing, 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 amazing. This is literally like music from the future. This is music from another world. Oh my god, this is just awesome. This is awesome. Oh, she's just so fierce! Oh my god. How does she make all this just look so effortless? Like, she's just standing there like... So, I really, really love that. Like, I just love that serve. Oh, and I guess that's it. So, I'll just take, take off my glasses, take off my headphones. I really enjoyed that Raven. You killed it, girl. Yes. I definitely think that the two best ones were in the Super Final. I think that those were the best options for Slovenia. I think I understand why Raven didn't win because to me, like, that song is fierce. That song is a show. She killed it and she looks amazing. She sounds amazing. I will listen to it more. But, the issue with it, it doesn't have a distinctive melody necessarily. Like, it's not going to get stuck in your head. It's really cool as an overall show and everything, but different parts of the song could feel a little bit disconnected. I think that there could have been a better flow and more of a melody, stuff like that. But I enjoyed it. Like, it was really, really cool and different and, like, experimental. And seeing something like that on Eurovision would have been really, really cool. But I understand why she didn't win necessarily. All right, so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of all of these songs in EMA 2019. My favorites were definitely Sebi and Kaos, but I think that Sebi was my favorite overall, for sure. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at MaxiRainbow, specifically my Instagram, because I be asking y'all questions, I have polls, I interact with you a lot on there, so make sure to follow me there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you really don't miss out on any other video that I do. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.